Jesse made the big return back to his standard. Yeah. And then obviously you're surrounded by all the controversy with the baby swap lot. What was it like, you know, the big excitement going back into it and then all the drama that we I'm kind of, I mean, it just seems I'm a little bit disappointed that the baby swap was kind of overshadowed the whole drama that Cat and Alpha played with the cot death. But we were aware of what was going to happen. We knew we were pushing the parameters. And I think as an actor, and certainly EastEnders, I think we kind of hold that award where we're prepared to take on challenging storylines. Cardle! I just sit next to I just sat to you! <laughs> Sorry about that. And, um, and as actors, you know, you want to push the parameters. And I think that storyline did just that. Yeah, yeah. I think EastEnders are constantly setting precedents, and I think the other shows kind of watch what we do and at times emulate. In the day, I'm just doing my job and I go home, and, and that's that. And, and I'm amazed, you know, that all the, the hoo ha that it's caused. I really am. Do you think it was over the top? No, I don't. I think it's great drama. I thought it was a great storyline. Don't like it, don't watch it. That's what I say. Look naked. Okay, Are you ready so for this? Let's have a look. Oh, hello, Italia. Little, isn't it? <laughs> wow, why has he only got one shoe on? Nice. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Oh. It's down to you. Get ready for the 16th National Television Awards. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the future, please welcome Mr. Dermot O'Leary! Hello, hello, thank you so much for Doctor Who everyone getting us here! Uh, so, good evening, and assuming it's January the 26th, and this is indeed Planet Earth, welcome to the 16th National Television Awards, live from London and O2 Arena. <laughs> Strange reason none of them travelled to, uh, here tonight by tram. The stars of Coronation Street, where are they? <laughs> Lovely Corey. And they only live around the corner, so it's all back to theirs for the Arthur Show. Easties are here, EastEnders, where are they? Ladies, calm yourselves. Ricky Norwood, EastEnders. Uh, true, true, this is what happened, yeah? We was hanging out at this party, yeah? And, and I was boxing back the body like it was nothing, yeah? But Pete, Pete, Pete didn't have none, yeah? So, so anyway, we had to kick out quickly, yeah? So, so, so we're cruising down the road and like out of nowhere, I end up mashing up Bambi, yeah? But true, true, so I don't think it was Bambi. I think it might be my boy. You understand what I'm trying to say, bruv? Like I say, man, it's all my bad, yeah? Now, once more. In English. Right. And the National Television Award goes to... Wait, two twos. Let me tell you one time, blood, yeah? Ricky Norwood! Every single person has said to me, have you prepared a speech? And every single time I've said no, and look what happens. Um, firstly, I want to thank every single person that voted. You don't know how much this means to me. I need to send out a big thank you to uh, Deborah Sarte, who's the producer of E20, and, and Diedrich Santa, and Julia Crampsey, and Brian Kirkwood for keeping me on. I need to thank my mum, my dad, my little sister Karina for always supporting me, my friends, my family, and um, especially my nan who has guided my path for a very long time. And uh, thank you, Nan. Thank you, God. Thank you, people out there. Yeah! Hey, that's nice. All right. Steve McFadden, EastEnders. <laughs> yeah, Phil. Hey, hey Phil. Uh, I'm here too. Listen, how are you feeling? Are you all right? I'm not. Oh, well, you, you can't get 
get me out of here. Phil, listen, Auntie Peggy's out at the moment, but I will talk to her when she gets back, OK? I'm serious, but I'm, I'm not well. Thing is, Phil, we're, we're, we're under strict instructions. We're not even really supposed to be talking to you. Please, you? I'm dying! Help! Oh, please! <laughs> Lacey Turner, East Enders. I know what I did to Archie was a terrible thing, I know that. But he raped me, Mum. He hurt Bradley, he hurt everyone. And he pushed and pushed and pushed, and I lost it for one moment, I lost it. I was ready today, Mum. I was ready. I would have turned myself in if it wasn't for what she just did. I promise you, Mum. I promise you, I swear on Lily's life, I did not hurt Janine. I did not. And the National Television Award goes to Lacey Turner. <laughs> who's voted for me for the past six years and supported me and a massive thank you to everyone at EastEnders I had such a good time there in the six years that I was there and I learned so much from you all so thank you and thank you to my family and friends for putting up with me thank you Lacey Turner and Louis Spence Stacey Solomon Again, <laughs> um, I'm really excited about this one. It's close to my own heart. Love all the soaps. Good luck to you all. You all deserve to be in this category. Woo. <laughs> the nominations for serial drama are Coronation Street. Mitchell dies. Stop it, Janine! Do Just you stop it. want to tell them who killed him, Stace? Or, or shall I? Because it wasn't Bradley, was it? It was you. Edward now. Carl, will you take chastity to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her? and forsaking all others, be faithful to her, as long as you both shall live. I will. 
Chastity, will you take Carl to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Come on, you're killing me here. Eh? No. And Hollyoak. Oh, that's it. Why get out of the windowsill? Why are you up to my shoulder? Get down, Dave! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, step. I'm ready now. Let me go. Help you. Always. Stop. And the winner is. Oh. is fierce. Thank you to like, you guys, uh, Coronation Street, Emmerdale, Hollyoaks, well done, you guys are superb. Thank you. Now, EastEnders is a show that wouldn't be the way it is and wouldn't have the success it has. Sorry, sir. somebody's just touching my bottom. <laughs> I'll carry on because I'm kind of enjoying it. EastEnders wouldn't be what it is without the commitment to storytelling, to addressing strong, diverse stories and addressing issues. And occasionally there's a peppering of humour in there somewhere. We want to thank you to John York, Brian Kirkwood, Lorraine. Thank you to all the team that work on EastEnders. And thank you to some of the best actors in the business. We'll just have a, a quick word. Uh, Lacey, you're, you're leaving this year, so well, you've left. Um, what was it for you that the Made East Enders so special for you? I don't know, just the cast and the crew and just everyone, really. Everyone and everything. The storylines, the writing, the people. And, and what in particular, because, I mean, you look around, the other soaps had really, really good years this year as well. I mean. What was it you think that, that you know that, that pushed you guys over the edge and won this tonight? Oh, don't ask me. <laughs> you didn't win, you know that, don't you? Okay, good. What about you guys? Any, any? You want to say anything? Uh, I haven't got a clue actually. <laughs> I'm, I see how they worked out who's going to talk tonight. All right. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for the Eastenders. Thank you, for everyone. I thought you were going to be my go-to guy. All right. It has been a great night. Congratulations to all our winners and thank you so much to all our nominees, our award presenters, uh, our guest performers, our hostess Charlotte and of course thanks to you all here and at home for watching and most of all 
for voting. There's a whole heap of partying about the star on ITV2 in the company of Miss Caroline Flack and Brian Dowling. But from all of us here at the National Television Awards, thank you so much for watching and good night. Well, there'll be some serious celebrations after that, and you can see them. The National Television Awards After Party is on ITV2. Um, and we're going to find the main man of the evening, Mr Dermot O'Leary, who did have a fantastic evening tonight. Where's Dermot? Where is he? Where's Dermot? He's over there! <laughs> Here he is. He's obviously busy congratulating everybody, and it's been a very, very, very busy evening. Well done, everybody. Wow, what a night! Okay, we are now joined by nearly the cast of EastEnders! Jesse Wallace and Shane Ritchie! Congratulations on your final award, that was fantastic. Was it a surprise? Because you did have won it for like the tenth time now. Well, I, I thought that, that Corrie would, would be in for a good chance because they had, uh, you know, it's their 50th anniversary, they had a great live the episode. Crash, yes, of course. The tram crash, brilliant, fantastic, and I really thought they'd win it, so it goes to show that EastEnders just get stronger and stronger every year. What do you think it is about EastEnders that make people actually vote and make you win 10 years in a row? What is I, it about, what is it about I, the I just think it's just, sometimes the storylines, I, I think each, each year EastEnders kind of push the parameters and they've certainly done it last year, what with the burning down of the Vic yeah. and also the crack story and also what's happened recently. And I, I, you know, I, I think, like I said, we push the parameters, and I think the storylines are very dramatic. Yeah. And I think the audience kind of buy yeah. into that. But they are dramatic, but there's always something very human in them. You can almost relate to a lot of them. Lacey got her Drama Performance yeah. Award tonight, and Ricky won Best Newcomer. So all round, it's been a fantastic night for East hasn't it? No, and I'm really happy for our exec producer, Brian Kirkwood, because he's only just come new into the job at the same time as me and Jesse. So it's a great, great for him. As a huge soap fan, shockingly, I'm yeah, obsessed. You are. When you two were coming back, I was so excited. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Are you Amazing. still excited? I'm even more excited you're sat near me. It's all he talks about. But literally, uh, your storyline with the cut there and, the, and the, the, the baby swapping thing must have been quite hard, I would imagine. See, that, to, that's to what film he was asked on the way in on the red carpet. Everyone's Everyone obsessed saying, with you know, it. Is it. You know, was it hard? You know, you know and all that stuff but yeah it's hard because you know it's it's, it's a it's, it's a sad story yeah. but as an actor you do it and you can walk away from it that's yeah, the thing it's true yeah you must be crying now nearly every day for the last few months with the storyline well, what's been we, we we filmed that way back in october november so talking about it now it seems really strange because we're filming stuff now for like february march okay so it's really yeah, strange talking about it yeah and on a lighter note it is the 16th NTAs, you know, it's a big night for TV, yeah. a lot of celebrations, all the soaps are here, all the TV programmes are here. Are there any rivalries when Ooh. you're here? Is it like a bit like West Side Story? I you never feel East like Enders. that. No, I, I never feel like that. No, no, I support all of them. Yeah. And also because I, I, I was part of the 50th anniversary for Coronation Street, I did The Road to Corrie. Yes, you did for so, BBC so, Three, that's right. You know, it's, it's great to be part of that. And I don't see it as rivalries. We no. did the, the comic also, relief my thing, son was in East Street. Oh, that's right, yes. You're like one so, big family. So, if you couldn't, be in, like if you couldn't yeah. be in any other soap, what's quickly, what soap would you be in? Yeah. If you want any standards, what other soap would you be in? Um, I'd like to have a go on Hollyoaks. Hollyoaks, OK, yeah. yeah. Hollyoaks would be fun. Knots Landing. Oh, not <laughs> Dynasty! <laughs> I could see you in Knots Landing. <laughs> nice one. Nice British soap, that. Well done. Loving Sarah. that. I could so <laughs> see you there. Shoulder pads. Thank okay, you. Okay, thanks to Jesse and Shay from EastEnders. Woo! Thank you. Okay, coming up, we'll be joined by the Inbetweeners, the cast of Coronation Street, Stacey Solomon and Sean Ryder. So keep sending us your questions via twitter.com forward slash official NTAs. There's loads more to come after the break. See, see you in a bit. Soon. Thank you very much.